Welcome to this video. It is part of our free course on how to create a restaurant management platform using WordPress multi-site and WP Ultimo. You will learn how to build a multi-site network and how to sell memberships on it. Your users will be able to sell food online. Set up different payment methods. Display the restaurant's food menu using a QR code. View new orders and sales reports updated instantly. Add accounts for waiters and cooks, and much more. All this will be done from a beautiful front-end dashboard that we will teach you how to create easily. The best news is that you don't need to be an experienced developer to build a platform like this. Subscribe to take this free course using the link in the description of this video. In this lesson, we'll create a template site for your platform. This will be really useful because you'll provide your users with a really simple way to set up their restaurant sites. They won't have to worry about designing the website from scratch because they will clone the template site on their own sites and just worry about choosing colors, titles, typographies, etc. On your network admin, go to site templates and hit add new. Let's use the template subdomain for this site. Enter the site title. The admin email. And hit add site. If you go to the all sites page now, you'll see the new site here. Now let's open the dashboard of the template site. The first thing you need to do to set up the template site is to remove all the unnecessary pages. In this case, we need to keep the cart, checkout, and my account pages added by WooCommerce. We will remove the shop page, because we will design different menu styles which the users will be able to select as their homepage. We need to have the cadence theme enabled. Although you can use any other theme, this is the theme we recommend, and we've prepared some importable settings for the template site. To import the customizer settings, go to Appearance and hit Customize. Once here, go to the Export and Import settings, and choose the DAT file. You can download it from the text version of this lesson. Once you choose the file, hit import. Now the appearance has been changed. We have a clean header, clean footer, and a clean page content. Optionally, you can select any colors for this site. Once you're done, publish the changes. Now it's time to add the food menu styles. For this, we need to create a new page, enter the title, and add one of the short codes provided by the WooCommerce food plugin, which integrates with WooCommerce and allows you to sell food online. If you preview the changes, you'll see what the menu will look like. It contains a floating cart button. You can create other menu styles using the short codes we have left on the text version of this lesson. After creating the menu style pages, we need to create a navigation menu. Let's add the home, cart, checkout, and the my account pages to this menu. Once we add the pages, let's rename the home item to menu. We can also add icons to the menu items. Now we just need to save changes to this menu. And if we visit the site, we can see a beautiful menu here. Now we need to select the home page for this site. In this case, let's select the first menu style page. And as you see, when the users hit the menu item, they will be shown the specific page we've selected. That's exactly what our restaurant managers will be able to do. Now we need to configure this site as a WP Ultimo template. In your network admin, go to the WP Ultimo settings and open the network settings. Once there, allow the template selection on signup. Select the template site you created and save the changes. Now your users will be asked to choose a template when they register a new site on your network. 
In the next lesson, we'll show you how to create a beautiful homepage for your platform. Remember that you can consult the text version of this lesson by following the link in the description of this video.